Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight we have Carlos Montoya and this is going to be coming from 1959. We're going to be witnessing some face melting flamenco here. So let's get Carlos up on screen and see how he gets on. going to jump in here Carlos has got that right hand technique that is just absolutely off the scale I also love the way that he puts in these hammer-ons and pull-offs and gets them so clear with the runs that he's doing obviously playing on a classical guitar and playing on these nylon strings as well the fact that he's getting such great hammer-ons and pull-offs he just absolutely runs down those strings from top to bottom with such clarity and the synchronization of that right hand and the left hand is absolutely insane the speeds that he's getting up to with that right hand it's funny because the fact that being filmed back in 1959 they didn't have the frame rate to be able to keep up so some of the time you'll just see a blur of the right hand because the camera cannot keep up up. physically cannot see what he's doing because it's so fast and it's so technically great the fact that all of these notes are coming across so cleanly probably one of the most impressive flamenco videos I've seen just the technique is so top-notch it's so impressive also keep a look out for the fact that we get a really nice run with the thumb that's keeping the bass line going throughout the piece you'll see this he also does another piece that hopefully we'll get to see as well but he keeps those first second and third fingers going all the time sometimes just only on one note but really machine gunning those notes throwing in such impressive speed but the thumb is working independently it's not going the same speed as the fingers so he gets that light and shade and putting together those two parts of having that bass line and effectively having a lead line over the top as well let's get into a little bit more Thank you. 
There we go. I'm just going to jump in to mention the fact that the little section he had there, hammer-ons and pull-offs, as I mentioned, he's not picking any of those. He's just literally doing that all with left hand. And then he gets into also a really nice staccato part of playing. So throwing in the dynamics, throwing in something slightly different. Also at the end there with the strumming, you saw that the camera couldn't keep up with the speed that he's going at. But it is so well phrased. There's so much going on with the left hand as well. He jumped into some bar chords, keeping those bar chords so clean, playing the lead lines with the little finger third finger second finger on the left hand whilst keeping that bar so solid which is really impressive as well as being really important of course if we're using those low three strings to give yourself that bass line that is going to contrast that top line then it's got to be clean but absolutely nailed here we're going to be getting into another track now this is going to be hotter spelled j-o-t-a but let's get into a little bit of this i don't want the video to go on for too long but let's check out a little bit more of this amazing flamenco playing now i want to play hotter There we go. That is just crazy technical ability. At the end, again, the camera can't really take in the speed that he's moving at, so it all becomes a little bit of a blur. But the thing about that end section, even with that little end strumming part that was really fast and the camera couldn't keep up, it is still phrased really deliberately he's raking across those strings with his fingers one at a time to in order to give that dynamic sound that he wants it's not just wild strumming it's not out of control even though it's so super fast he's still got control of it which is amazing i think carlos was just destined to play flamenco guitar the fact that ramon his dad was a renowned flamenco player himself and when world war ii broke out carlos was actually over in the usa so he decided to stay there in New York and then just worked at his playing but also added a lot of different styles to his playing as well. You can see here in 1959 this would have been a period where he's been working on so many different techniques, so many different styles but absolutely spent hours and days, weeks, months and years working on this technique. The right hand technique here and the left hand technique is absolutely out of this world impressive. But Carlos Montoya, what an amazing talent great technical ability and phrasing dynamics he's got it all going on there what a great performance this was of Malaga and Hotta so thank you for suggesting this video for me to take a look at keep those suggestions coming in the comments below let me know what you guys think if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next one